Welcome back to the Why Not 3 Daily Show, where in less than 3 minutes, I'll share a tip worth doing or a story worth sharing. Let's jump into one of my favorite topics, because I have spoken at TEDx. And today I want to share the two top TED Talks on procrastination. The first one is obvious, because if you type in procrastination, this guy will pop up. It's the guy that talks about the master procrastinator. It's a very funny speech, which is great if you're procrastinating. Kind of motivates you to actually go and start doing. I'm not gonna reveal too much, but I'll drop the link down below. If you wanna be happy for 20 minutes, go watch that speech. To get a little bit more practical is the second speech. Second speech is by Anthony Robbins, and I'm gonna be completely upfront and honest from the beginning. I actually didn't resonate with Anthony Robbins. Everything that he does in the sessions, it seems a little bit too complicated for me. I've tried his stuff. It didn't last for me. It usually becomes very motivating in the moment, but then six months later, I can't grasp anything. Now, that doesn't mean that what he says isn't right. It is. It comes from experience. And at the end of the day, he does amazing stuff. It just didn't work for me. But this one speech, why we do what we do, in there, Tony Robbins actually did nail it very practically. Because at the end of the day, if you want to not procrastinate, this TED talk can help. Because if you know why you do what you do, it can align to a point that you know exactly what you should be doing every day and what you should not be doing. And then it's the art of actually cutting all those stuff that you should not be doing and automatically you'll start procrastinating less. Because if the actions of your day-to-day -day life are aligned to what you should be doing every day, your life will become easier and procrastination will vanish. That sounds super vague, I know. But what I mean with that is a very clear example was when I was doing law school, it wasn't my passion. And it wasn't my passion because at one point I realized that my why is to become the best I can be. That's part of my why. But law school, I realized, wasn't gonna get me there. And so I started over time lose passion for what I was studying because I knew it wasn't good enough to get me to that point. There were other instruments that I was using, like business, that were gonna get me to that point. And so passion started going away from that and procrastinating procrastination started becoming worse and worse and worse. But yet, for business, I could sometimes work without even eating the whole day long. So that kind of explained and solidified what Tony Robbins sketched very, very well in that speech. And so for that reason, that is the one speech where I truly say, hey, uh, he really nailed it. It's worth the watch. It'll definitely motivate you and actually shape something practical out of it. Now, of course, he's doing super well and I do admire him and his documentary is definitely a must watch. But all in all, I didn't resonate. So I do go deeper into some other things that I have used from him that are more practical, things like the Dickens process, which I shared on Quora. I also shared more in the 30 day challenge. If you haven't subscribed yet, the link is down below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have a question, just comment below and share this with a friend. And I'll see you in the next video. If you like this episode and you're interested in more tips and tricks on improving your health, wealth, and relationships, then click this little box and we'll get you started on our free 30-day challenge where you get the behind the scenes of some of my speeches and day-to-day -day clients.